Um, oh, this is, this is, I mentioned this the other day, right? That the Kansas, there is a study by, um, I can't remember where it came out of now. CDC. Was it the CDC who did the Kansas study? So Kansas had a, uh, they imposed a statewide mask mandate, but multiple counties opted out. All the big counties in Kansas kept it. Multiple counties opted out. The counties that kept it, the infection still grew, but it grew at like a a, a 6% slower rate from when they instituted the mandate. In the counties that opted out, it grew at a hundred percent rate of increase. And, you know, obviously there's a little bit of apples and oranges, but you have counties that have less population, you would imagine would have less rate of infection, or at least in in terms of acceleration, because people are more spread out. Um, when this probably fewer places to hang out too, and then right. they all go there. Yeah. Well, that's true, I guess. But I mean, if you look in New York state, Counties with fewer populations uh, yeah. and, and more space, they, they simply just, they have less They're transmission. Cars, less, you're in you cars know, more, subway, you're, you know, you go less. in, you're not, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you have theoretically more outdoor space, blah, blah, blah. Except for church, which is Except, the big thing. Well, that's also true. But here is Fox and Friends finding out about this study that shows that somehow when you block the the explosion of virus out of your face, even a little bit, it cuts down on the amount of virus that comes to other right, people. Right. How many but months into the pandemic is this? This is, <laughs> look at, look at like how like hmm. stunned they are about this information. Ultimately right now, what's going on with the pandemic is, and we don't know exactly how many people may have been infected over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, uh, but the number of cases in our hospitals is going through the roof. In 41 states, it's going up. Uh, I read a great survey and, and a... Uh, Posi, a, a they look thing about this, too, is that Ducey is the only one who takes it seriously. He's the science, like, he's like, listen, as the chief acknowledger of science on this panel, the sole acknowledger of science, I'm a special correspondent here, I read the newspaper, that's not I coming from Fox. I think it's a little bit more self-interest. I think, I think he had COVID. I, you think he had it? <laughs> he may, he may have, but he certainly has been the only one on the show who's taken it seriously in any way. And, um, and so, and he's right in California, they're worried about being completely overrun at 125% capacity by mid December in New York state. They're already asking. Uh, and the real problem of course is not the beds, right? The real problem is, we don't have enough doctors and enough nurses to deal with this. And in New York state, Cuomo's already asked for people, if you're a retired health worker, we may need you to come out of retirement. I mean, and uh, New York is not in the worst case uh, when you look around the country by far. So here's, here's Ducey. He's trying to introduce this. Right? They must have a thing where it's like, Everybody gets to bring up a story, and you wonder, like, you know, like uh, Kilmeade and, and, and Ainsley Earhart are like, oh, "Today's gonna do the whole thing like COVID's real again." I... <laughs> Can't we just talk about Obama? At the scientific data in my home state of Kansas, in the month of July, they they had a statewide mandate for masks. Now, the problem with Kansas was some counties would actually enforce it and other counties would not. In the counties that enforced the mask mandate, mandate, the number of cases of coronavirus actually went way down. And <laughs> in the counties where they did not enforce the mask mandate, it went right way up. Really, really fascinating. Steve, you're blowing our minds here. The mask mandate? It went right way up. Really? Yeah. Huh. You just really. have to do it smartly and do it safely. Uh, <laughs> it, it means apparently masks work. Work. Four million U.S. cases in the month of November alone. That's a third of the total number of coronavirus yeah. cases in the U.S. since this pandemic began. Wow, really? Uh, we we got to do it. You got to wear the masks safely and rightly. Sla safely and smartly. Bigly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, 
Don't wear it where you're killing your brain cells. Well, you don't want a situation where you put the mask and you tie it around your neck and then pull it really tight until you pass out. Right. Don't do that. That yeah. that is like like the dress she's wearing. By that, the way. That's one of the things that people don't talk about is all the times where you could possibly uh you know, asphyxiate, yeah. self asphyxiate by by not putting the mask on properly. It's supposed to go over your mouth not around your neck and then pulled tight until you pass out or if you breathe so. in way too hard and snap it off of your uh ears and suck it down your throat like some sort of vacuum you seal can choke on it choke on it that's happened to me a few times you also got to like that you do not like if your ears are too far back from your face <laughs> And you pull the elastic like this conceivable the elastic could break snap back into your eyes and you could go blind um, I think it's pretty amazing to watch someone in real time maybe realize that they the, all the work they've done over the past year has been part of the reason why so many people have died. Well, you think that she goes home, rolls over and looks at Sean Hannity and goes, Sean, is it possible that masks actually do work? <laughs> that would require a level of introspection that... They don't possess, but like that almost resembled a positive news se segment. Well, what's I, funny I think about it that was a responsible news segment, I meant to say. I was just gonna say it real quick. What's funny about that is when Ducey's saying it looks like masks work, and then she is so quick to follow it up with, "Yeah, there's we're having so many cases now, um, you know, relative to how much." It's like justifying why we have to admit this now. Like right. we, would, we would like to continue to deny it, but guys. We're getting crazy with the cases. Well, I think what's next is they realize that everyone's going to be mandated to take this vaccine and they're going to come in and say, well, no, but we're wearing masks now. So we, we don't have to take the vaccine. This is our version of the vaccine. And so it's like their incrementalism is to acknowledge the mask just in time when everyone's being forced to take the vaccine, which is whatever the next infringement on your uh, personal rights is. I don't, I don't think that there's going to be a... I think the way that the vaccine, the the mandate for the vaccine is going to be can't send your kid to schools unless your kids have been va vaccinated, um, which is actually the case now with several other vaccinations. Yeah, yeah. Already. Uh, that you can't get on a plane unless you've been vaccinated. That you're, you're I think maybe even a train, you know, I mean, we're, we're all going to get an app and it's going to have like a little scan code i think is probably what what the deal is going to be it's going to be something along those lines I well think. It, it will be interesting like say someone's been vaccinated early and isn't masked like how do you signal that to the public i, I don't i don't know. You know maybe it's like any sort of medical procedure you know how if you want to force people people who are already you know who have medical illness they can't get a, a surgery they can't enter a doctor's office anything unless they have that vaccine I, mean, I think there's going to be uh, uh, stuff like that, but it's going to be interesting. Well, we're wearing masks now. Soon, I, I'm convinced they're going to accept the reality of this pandemic when the next one happens. Yeah. When they say, I'm you know, when, when it's COVID 2027 and they're like, this isn't nearly as bad as COVID 2019. Yeah. I'm curious, like, how if someone could go and look up uh, Ducey's comment section, I'm very curious how Fox is reacting to him. Uh, the Fox and Friends audience, like if they're well, turning I mean, on him. I've got a ton of backlash after uh, admitting that Trump likely wasn't going to win the election a few days ago from the Fox News audience. So I would be curious if uh, Laura Ingram ever traveled to Venezuela. All right. Uh <laughs>